Hey everybody, NecroVMX here. Welcome back with more East Memories of Salsetta. Trying to either figure out or remember... I need to get down there, but that's all like... Pretty, uh... I don't know. Get... Oh my god, stop! Jesus. I wonder, can I interact with this again? No. Alright, once you've punched that, you've punched that, it seems. Alright. I'll figure something out. I'm like, really kind of unsure about this right now. That was annoying. Hmm. Eh, game. Hey, Adel's level 43. Good for him. Let me try going back here. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I should go this way. I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little kerfluffled here. Let me put the um, the ALS urn on. I got that. All right. Let me go this way now. So fucking conf and that leads him back here. This area is all pissing me off right now. And there's nothing there. I am so confused. Gibbs, get off of me, will you? Come on. I was looking for food, but it's not that time yet. Gibbs, get off of me! Stop it! Jesus. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm just like back here. Oh man, I am not able to figure this out right now, am I? My head is uh, all kerfluffled right now. This just leads me back here. That's not helpful. At least I'm getting plenty of experience points while like freaking derp around like an idiot. All right. Uh, okay, Adel. All right, wait, wait to get stuck, Adel. Hmm. I really, yeah. I'm really at a loss here. I mean, I can go back over there, but like, what's the point? Now, let me try something else. Get off of me, Gibbs. No, 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 go lay down somewhere, please. I don't know why you gotta bother me when I'm recording. You think I don't spend time with the dog, and I totally do. Off of me, gives Jesus. I probably should have fought the frog, but whatever. See, that just leads back here. With the treasure chests I got. But everything's blocked off, so there's not like much I can do here. I'm really, like, I, I'm kind of, like, freaked out here. I don't know what to do. I've reached, like, an impasse. I might have to, like, look it up or something, because I'm, like, kind of a little stuck here. I don't really want to do that.
Got him. I mean, everything seems to be related against, uh, related around this one big room. I hit that switch, it didn't help me with anything. It didn't help me, like, reach a place that I couldn't reach before. Unless I'm just missing something. And that's really what I gotta look for, is like, is there an area that... Like, I couldn't reach, but now that the water's higher, I can? Alright, Durin's level 42, so there's that. I gotta heal myself though. Let me kill this guy though. Alright, let me put the um, spirit cape on. Like, basically, what I would want to do is get over there, but I don't see how I would. I really don't. You can't, unfortunately, you can't just walk across that aqueduct thing there, the, the gate. Like most games, that's what you would do. You would just walk across, like like Breath of Fire 4, you know? You should at least just wait until either Adel's fully healed or Karna's poison goes away. Alright, Karna's poison's gone away. Let's see. And I don't see of a way to get that open. Let me try going over in this direction. I don't know. All these enemies bothering me too as I'm trying to look around. It's like, hello, I'm trying to look around. And it doesn't seem helpful to come out this way. There's got to be something very simple that I'm missing. There's gotta be something simple missing. Like how to get up there. I already got that. Hmm. I does not know. We already know it's not really that helpful to be down here. There has to be something I'm missing after hitting that switch. The switch basically didn't seem to help me. Wait, I just had an idea. Let me, uh, let me put Karna in for a bit. I had an idea. It may not be the greatest idea, but it's something. Uh, okay. I gotta go. I know where I gotta go to, to test this theory. If I'm correct, it would require Karna. No. Wait, maybe from over there, though. I don't know. But that's where I was. But I can try it. I don't know. I'm getting irritated. Because of course I am. Hmm. I was thinking maybe I can cut those chains with her knives, but there's no prompt to do so. That was the only thing I can think of, really, to be honest. I have no idea now. Alright. Let me just make the area safe. I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to look into this, because I, 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 uh, I'm derping too much here.
All right, I'm back. So apparently it, it had something to do with swimming around in the water that I didn't quite see or something. That there's a hole in a wall or something that I'm supposed to go through in this room. So first things first, let's get Adel healed because that's like the biggest thing. They could take pot shots at fish all they want, but apparently there's a hole somewhere that I'm supposed to swim through in this... Jesus, Karna, what are you even doing? All right. Okay, hungry. that's good enough for now. All right, so let me put the water dragon scales on, go down there and look. It just sucks because it's hard to see anything down here. And these damn enemies, you know? Wait, maybe if I zoom in a little... All right, I'm not seeing any holes. And the water being so goddamn bright is not helpful. I'm just exploring the whole shit right now. Hmm. It would make sense to be over here because that was locked off before, but it doesn't seem to, no, it's just places to go back up. Oh God, that's so bright. Gibbs, get off of me. Ah, uh, hello. All right, of course not. And of course I'm getting wrecked by enemies that I can barely see. Ah. Damn it. All right, let me let me read exactly what it says. This is what it says. So I, I skipped to the point where it says where you act where, where you hit the um the switch to change the water level. It says uh all right. Head up the stairs to the north and head to the right. In the center of the area, you'll find a device that clearly can energize that will connect the area with the previous one. Explore the rest of the area to the right to see how it's all connected. Then go back into the water in the center and head south past the floodgate. Take a left and go into the area where you noticed the hole in the wall earlier. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I didn't, you know what? I read hole in the wall, but what I didn't... I didn't read any further than that. You need Ozma to break something. I didn't see the prompt, though. Maybe because you have to have him in the party or something, but... It's one of those things that Ozma can break somewhere on the left here. It said left. Oh my god. Stop. I'm, I'm, I can't see the enemies that are attacking me. Get back here, you bitch. Alright. Where is it? They said south past the floodgate... And then left, which is... Oh, I can kind of see it. You can't be in the water. All right. I'm an idiot. That makes sense, because that's where I was trying to get. I didn't see that it was cracked. Otherwise, I would have been like, oh, yeah, you use Ozma for that. All right. I've been trying to get in here for a while. Not really. All right, fuck him, fuck him. He's a da he's an ass. I am gonna want to heal here though, so let's uh, put the Aeola Cern on and not the Aeola Cern. What am I stupid? The um, Spirit Cape. His adult got even more beat up in the water there. It it just sucks when you're getting hit by enemies that you can't see because the water like they talk about how clear it is, but it's really showing how it was a Vita game upscaled for like PlayStation 4 and then port it to Steam. All right, let me let me let him get like all the way healed. All right. Or at least most of the way. I I think I'm fine here actually. All right. All right, so there's something in the Come here, dickbag. Oh, fuck. Damn it! Oh, 
I can't hit the guy because he keeps jumping around. There we go, finally. Alright. I might have to put the water dragon skip. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just a bitter potion. Alright, so we're gonna go this way now. I'm not trying to get bogged down in enemy encounters in the water, though. Alright, Osmus level 42 and Kalilika got Blitz Chaser. Alright, this should just lead to a treasure chest. And it's an Onyx. Okay, cool. Jesus. I can sure use one of those heal warp spots now. Damn it. Alright, I'm going for it just to clear the enemies out. Easy. Alright, let's grab whatever this is. Three bitter potions. Alright, now we're finally on the other side of this. Very nice. Alright. Alright, so there's really nothing else to do here but have Kalilika hit this. Can't even proceed any further. Alright, so that's a big floodgate opening. It should probably flood this whole area. Alright, and that also gets that water wheel turning. And moves those. Okay, cool! But now that that's all flooded down there, I should go back down and look for, um, these treasures that I want to get. Of course, it's going to take me a while to get back there. Once again, I find myself in need of healing. Spare cape again. You guys are running off. You're like, we're running off to fight enemies. Like, uh, Adol needs to heal, though. We'll one heal all the way. We'll just get, like I said, get him to white hit points at least. Okay. Good enough for now. I'm going back this way just to get some silly treasure chests, but... Oh, that's not the right way, though. Dag. God, I wish the swimming was a little faster. Oh, that's why. He's pretty close to leveling up, too. Oh, damn it, Adel, what the fuck? Alright, Frida's level 42.
Gibbs, calm down. Alright, because there's this one treasure here that I want to get. A Rota Leaf! Okay, cool. What what does that do, actually? Alright, I'll be under items. Because I know what a Rota Droplet does. What's a fruit? Maybe it's a... Uh, maybe it's a plant material? Yeah, it is. Filled with vitality. Well, we got one. You know, just because I'm sick of doing it the other way, though, I'm just going to heal a bit with just some bitter potions here. Alright. Alright, here we go. Getting so many titanic bones, and every time somebody's like, wow, this is rare. Not so much. All right. All this backy tracking just for a road of leaf, but pretty good item though. What's up, fucks? Oh, I got farted on and poisoned. That frog extract's pretty rare. Wait, no, that's not the right way. This is rare. That's the drill beak, I think. Alright, Al's Gale Stinger's level 2, and Adel himself is level 44. Alright, I gotta use uh, Catholicon or something to... Because that paralyze is just too annoying. And Karna is level 43. Sup, fucks? And Kalilika is level 43. Probably getting close to a heal point, actually. Oh, well, looks like a boss. I didn't think it would be a heal point, though. Ugh! What's that stench? Might have to fight Gaddis here. Oof, it's awful. I feel like it's choking me. Hmm, it seems to be originating from deeper within the runes. Well, we certainly can't turn back on account kind of the unpleasant smell. Come on, let's just keep moving. I think Gaddis is in here somewhere. Damn it, get up, Adel. Big old Frago. I'm going for it just to kill it quickly. They're like already gone ahead. It's the next Frago. Yo! Found something. There is a heal point here. Cool. Which means boss time. Whoa, look! I guess this must be the source of that awful smell. The water outside is so clean, too. 
What is the purpose of this area, Frida? It's source it is the source of all the primeval land's water. The source of all the primeval land's water? But it's filthy. Shh, it's about to begin. What is? The Spartas, I think, come out and purify it or something. Are those? Yep. Hold on, aren't those Spartas? That's right, the sacred beasts Eldiel sent to this land. And you're about to witness what makes them so sacred. So they're the source of all clean water. Amazing. I've never heard them cry like this before. Ah, it's like they're singing. What's that red liquid? Oh, whoa, it's... The very poison we encountered in Celray? But why? No one is threatening them. But then look. The water, it, it's turning clear. What's going on? Celsetta was once thought to be a barren place where nothing could grow. It was then that Lord Eldiel sent the Spartas who transformed this wasteland into a lush forest overflowing with life. And even now they're responsible for purifying the waters of the Great Forest. Purifying it? That red liquid is not poison? Poison? I'm afraid I don't know exactly how that process works. But what I do know is that the water they purify eventually flows into the river, which carries it to every part of the land. The Spartas are effectively the guardians of all life in Celsetta. Mm. Thought there'd be a boss, but I guess not. Oh, there's a memory here, though. It looks like we'll have to do that before we get the treasure chest, because the game's forcing me to. There's another one with uh, Eldiel and LaFance. The kingdom of Celsetta could not have come into his ex existence were it not for the Spartus. I doubt anyone who looked at this land for the first time could possibly imagine it was once an infertile wasteland. Did you not call me here today as you wish to discuss something? You have worry written all over your face. Hm. I can't keep anything from you, can I? You're far too easy to read, my friend. I could do so in my sleep. Uh. My worry is related to the Spartus. Their purifying abilities are far too potent and act as a deadly poison to the natural world. It is for this reason that I forbade anyone to remove Spartas from their natural habitat. But several days ago, some of the villagers from Selray broke that law and took a group of Spartas to the river. Oh my, what could, po what could they possibly have done that for? They intend to use them in conflict between the villages there. Regrettably, by the time I'd learned this, the poison had already been released and a village at the basin was destroyed. How tragic. Why must humans keep repeating the same mistakes? Why must we abuse that which we're given in good faith? What have the people of Selray said regarding that matter? It seems like the incident was a result of a small group of villagers acting independently. The village chief is currently working to take control of the situation. However, it appears Selray too suffered damage. I received a pledge from the village chief expressing his regrets for what happened and swearing never to allow it to occur. I see. Then, my dear friend, my answer to you now is the same as my answer when I resolved to cross the ocean. Let us watch over them. Yes, I think that's best. So now you know why uh, there were such important laws about them, the uh, the Spartas, and base defense up by one. That's a big one for Ozma. So the Spartas from Celery originally came from here, huh? Adol, Dura, and I, I think I finally understand. Huh? I think I finally understand what my tribe, what my mother and father sought to protect, and the purpose behind the laws they defended. The ones about raising them? Our laws forbid us from telling others about the nature of the Spartans or the methods used to rear them. Because if others should discover these methods, the tragedy we just witnessed may very well occur again. Makes sense. Explains what King Lafon said, too, about the Celray's chief's pledge. Guess that's why they stopped mentioning the poison to anyone. It appears so. My ancestors sought to avoid repeating the past by keeping the Spartans close by and stressing their sanctity as sacred beasts. I believe that is the true purpose behind the laws of my tribe. However... Hmm? Something else bothering you? There is. The sight we see before us. These Spartas are living in complete harmony with nature. This is the Spartas' natural habitat, the way they are meant to live. <laughs> Why do you care? That's no, going to be Gaddis. No. I might go a little extra long because I think we got to fight him. Gaddis! So you found out what these big dumb animals are really like. Big deal. Your people aren't going to do a thing different and you know it. 
You're going to go back home and go right back to snapping their tusks off and making them do your dirty work. The only thing keeping people and beasts together is fear. Man ain't going to live side by side with them unless he takes charge. No, beasts have their own sense of dignity, just as people do. There is no reason we cannot search on means of coexistence that allows us both parties to preserve that dignity. The laws of celebrity were indeed written with human convenience in mind, but... I am in a position to change those laws. Oh, finally he realizes that. Ozma. Wow. Huh. Well, now that you've done it, you made me mad enough I'm seeing red. People like you make me sick. So now I'm going to smash your damned heads in. Alright. That's... One of Gruta's masks? My orders are to finish the rats running around until set and get in everybody's way. And I love squashing me some rats. There we go. The sadistic beast tamer, Gaddis. Whoa! It's grotesque. <laughs> it's a special mask designed to strengthen your mind and body to the maximum. And I'm going to use it to splatter you lot across the lake. Alright, got to watch out for that Whomper of his. Oh, I tried to block it. Ah, oh, once again, tried to block it. That jump is as quicker than it looks. All right, we got him stunned. Almost got him. Ah, the camera. And it's over. Durin's level 43, Ozma's level 44. Okay, so Kalilika is level 44. We won. Looks like his body couldn't handle the mask's side effects after all. I guess congratulations, Ron Ozma. You accomplished what you set out to do. No. I am not done yet. Now that I know Gruta and his allies possess such extraordinary power, I feel I must aid in stopping him. I want to continue fighting by your side, Adol. Only when this matter is fully settled will I be comfortable returning to Selray. Thanks. I should be the one thanking you. I could not have come this far alone. You have my deepest gratitude, Adel Kristen. All right. Well, glad to have you with us. Yep. It's been a pleasure fighting by your side. <laughs> I would agree. Oh yeah, Adel. What's the altar-like thing over there? It's been bugging me since we got here. I must got a treasure chest on it. We should take a closer look. I can't resist. I gotta get it now. The right mask fragment. So we got half of the mask of the moon. A mask? Could this be the mask of the moon? Maybe. It's hard to tell. Hmm, it's broken in two, and I sense no power emitting from it. It's clearly no match for the mask of the sun. Well, can't hurt to take it with us either way. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna stop right here. I'll see you guys real soon with more East. Memories of Salsetta. <laughs>